Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Nathan Daly. I'm your law enforcement translator. You guys here to provide insight on difficult current event issues. You guys, I provide my experience as a 13 year law enforcement officer to really, really dive into some of these complex issues. You guys, listen, this right here, this particular um, video tonight, guys, that I want to cover completely, completely disturbing suspect. But um, shout out to the officers who actually were able to apprehend this. Uh, this sick, twisted individual. Uh, this gentleman's name is Reed Duran, you guys. We're going to dive into it. You guys, first, listen, every Wednesday, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, you guys, I go live. I do live streams, a call-in show. You can call, ask any questions. We talk about a lot of things regarding law enforcement and current event topics that are taking place, you guys. Um, so, also, please follow me on social media as well, at Real Nathan Daily. So listen, you guys, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you see value in it. In this particular video, you guys, um, I was following this incident. I heard about this a long time ago. Um, and uh, they just released a surveillance video inside an interrogation room. Um, the officers out of Ohio, uh, Xenia, Xenia Police Department, um, arrested a gentleman by the name of Reed Duran. Sick, sick bastard. You guys, what did he do? Listen, Reed ended up um, pretending to be a parent. He went to an elementary school um, with the intent to kidnap a five-year-old uh, girl, you guys. Uh, but he was arrested. He's in the interrogation room. And then what happens, you guys? Uh, this footage, he tries to assault the officer while waiting to be interrogated. Uh, and he used a pen on the table to do it. So listen, um, this is not a graphic video, but it is a very uh, physical video. Um, we're going to watch the officer take, take down the suspect inside the interrogation room. This honestly just goes to show, one, how dangerous this job is, uh, how it's continuously dangerous, and that a, a suspect can be a threat at any point in time, and you always have to be aware. You have to have great situational awareness and be prepared at any point in time to defend yourself and protect other people. So let's uh, take a look at this video, you guys. Um... All right, you guys, listen. We are about to watch something that is so, so interesting. Listen, you can't make this up. The suspect is sitting here. He's on the table. He's looking at the pen, a potential weapon. Anything is a weapon in the hands of a person who's a lunatic, a person who, who knows they're about to do a lot, a lot of time in prison, you guys. They are willing to try anything. What does he do? He tries to stab the officer with this pen. And watch the commando ninja-like reflexes of the officer, you guys. This is great, great training. Woo! Got him. Put your hands behind your back now. You guys, do you see how quick that was? Listen, I think, I think you missed it. The officer was able to intercept, intercept him with the pen. You're talking about paying attention. You're talking about focus. You're talking about great situational awareness. This officer could have got killed, right? With this pen, he could have been stabbed in the neck, stabbed in the face. His weapon could have been taken. He honestly shouldn't have his weapon even in the interrogation room, right? So I don't know what their policy is like in Ohio. But look how fast lightning speed reflexes from the officer, you guys. Let me let me slow it down. And we're going to we're going to play it from a different angle as well. But let's let's slow this down so we can see this. This is crazy. Um, now he's sitting here. He's already made up his mind. The officer is focused. He's paying attention. He's not dwelling on his phone. You guys, a lot of officers get caught up doing that, being on the phone. Look at this. Look at that. Great block. Great block. Threw him down. The officer's ready. Listen, listen. He's lucky. I would have kicked him in the face. <laughs> but the officer, great control, great takedown. Um, and and he 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 handled business. He handled business. All right, let's let's catch this from another angle. Looks like they have another camera from I guess you would call this 
more of an aerial view. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, interrogation room the officer has a gun so in my department when you're interrogating a suspect like that they you, you know they don't want you to have your gun on you um in the interrogation room if this is an interrogation room or if this is a holding cell i honestly don't know uh what this is but uh <laughs> i don't know what to be more what's more hilarious the officer's voice or the suspect's actions right um but the officer did a great job using great control right no excessive force i i probably would have drop kicked them into the damn drywall to be honest um but the officer did a great job i'm glad he's not hurt and this uh this pervert definitely is going to get exactly what he deserves prison um so let's let's continue to play this back now stop really what are you trying to stop me with you kidding me hit him with him so according to the documents, Duran was not handcuffed initially because he was there voluntarily, was not in custody. Okay, that makes sense. So, okay, all right, that makes sense now. So now he has, a, he definitely has an attempted ag assault charge on a police officer, right? So, so now he is under arrest. And now, <laughs> wow, wow. Now it makes sense. Okay, okay. I'll exp I'll I'll kind of go over that. Let's see what else. Um. Where was the pen at? No, right on the table, right there. Yeah, yeah. No, I know where it is now, but was it on the table? On the table. Okay. So Duran, according to them, Duran was charged with uh, attempted kidnapping felonious assault and escape uh so yeah so kidnapping felonious assault so basically trying to assault the officer and they also threw in their escape you know use this as an as a as a show of you attempted to assault the officer so that you can escape right um perverts man i can't stand these these type of criminals we'll get him off his chest stand up Oh, man, see quick. See Oof, that was crazy listen as officers we always have to always have to be on guard you guys never know when things go from zero to a hundred you have to be alert and aware at all times that could have been very 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 nasty for the officer right what if he would have got him in the neck got him in the face took the officer's gun shot us shot his way out of uh the the police uh precinct and you know these things have happened before you guys something similar to this right you think of like brian nichols if you guys are not familiar with that he was in custody i guess he was in court for a hearing i don't know what stage he was in but it was in reference to uh sexual assault and he assaulted a sheriff deputy inside the courtroom took the deputy's gun shot and killed the deputy shot and killed the judge shot his way out of the courthouse in here in atlanta you guys you know carjackings and more shootings you guys and uh they were able to bring him back in custody so these things do happen people do escape from police custody uh it happens one too many times and so uh you do have to be alert you guys at all times so so shout out to the officer what a phenomenal job he did create situation awareness he handled that situation flawlessly bringing him down cuffing him listening sending this scumbag to prison where he definitely belongs obviously innocent to proven guilty right so let's uh Let's pray that everybody has their ducks lined up and that he's off the streets permanently. So, anyways, you guys, let me know your thoughts in reference to this. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And with that, good night. God bless.